All right, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be playing some Frostpunk. Like I was saying in the uh, last stream, it's on a free-to-play weekend this weekend. And <clears throat> it's actually on sale, like on a massive sale, until the 16th. So we kind of kind of get a feel for it. Um, I just got done playing kind of a tutorial uh, colony, which ended up just not doing very good. So I am going to... Attempt to start a new one here, and we're going to try to make some better choices. I've got no experience with the game, Rome other than that little tutorial bite. We did like seven days, so... I think I can kind of change up how I do with some things in the start. Rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now. That the world, has, we, as we know it, has crumbled. We have to survive. Alright, so we've got to get our generator up and running, and one thing I did before um, is I sent people all over to get all sorts of different stuff. I think what I need to focus on here is just coal right at the beginning. So we're going to send workers over here to gather coal, and we're going to send... Oh, we're going to send workers over here to gather coal. And then I'm also going to take and send some people over here to gather wood but I'm gonna put I didn't put two on coal last time and I think that was a big mistake also I take it back you know let's take none off of here or let's add none to there and then let's put 15 on here because they're gonna use the same path and instead of sending them here let's send them here to get the steel and here to get that And then that leaves just five engineers, which I guess I can send over here. And one thing I did last time is I built these roads out like really early. I'm not going to do that this time. We're going to attempt just to get what we need in order to build some worker camps. So <clears throat> hopefully we can get enough coal here 
in the very first day to get the generator turned on. Now, I think I was going a little too fast in the first playthrough. I think I need to go a little slower. So we've got these laws and we can sign these laws in order to give us different uh, bonuses. So we can go for child shelters or child labor. And I took child labor before. I think I'm going to do the same thing here. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Everything over here is maxed out. I think I can send some children out here and together start gathering this wood. Our children aren't used to working. They'll get hurt. Kids should be learning, not working. Maybe, but we're going to have them working for sure. Um, I don't think there's any schools or anything like that. Um, maybe there is. I just don't know about it. Um, so we need eight houses to begin with. One, two, three, four. We can start with that. And we've got to get some more wood in order to build more, so. We're going to speed it up here just a hair. Uh, we've gathered enough for another house, which we can put in. And essentially we need eight houses to begin with. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that should leave enough housing for everybody. <clears throat> we have 200 coal stockpile. That's good. Um, so what we need to do is turn the generator on. So we can start at steam level one. And essentially here, that's going to warm up this little rain right around the uh, base in all the houses we just built. The generator hums with reassuring, <coughs> reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now, food. There'll be no city if we starve to death. A secure way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. All right, so we're gonna build some food. Now I built these hunter's cabins out here before, like way on the edge, and I think that's what I'm gonna do again. So what I'm gonna do here is put down a road, and we're gonna send it like out to like here, I guess. I want to make sure I have enough room to get it as far out on the edge as possible without taking up room from other things. So I hope this is the right call here. We're going to put that in. We're going to build the hunter's hut once we have 20 more wood. I want this thing as far out as possible. To, so it just <clears throat> it doesn't interfere with any of our other building. And 
and then we also have to build the uh, cookhouse. So we can put that down. So last time I built it, um, I put it on the second ring. And I think I'm going to do that again. I think that was an okay call. So, like this would take up that entire space, but it's a lot smaller if we build it over here. I'm going to put it right there. So the people are off work, but they're going to go ahead and keep building. So we should be able to get our houses up and stuff like that. We've got these cook houses going. Um, we can get children to work in the cook house. So I'm going to assign five kids to work there. People from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings. <clears throat> So, we've got to build a workshop, which is over here in tech. And what I'm going to do is put that over here next to the cookhouse. And then we just need to attach a little road to it. We can also um, take some of our workers, for instance, off of coal, and I'm going to put them on the hunter's hut. already a much better start um, before I was like all over the place with my buildings and I had built like roads all over I think this is a uh, much much better uh, we do have one person we one person just got sick so what we need to do in order to stop that from keeping her like continuing we got to build a uh, medical station and we can introduce a new law here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the emergency shift, I think. This is going to allow us to grab some wood tonight. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I should take soup. So soup basically uh, gives us more food per raw food. Now, people don't like soup as much. Hope slightly falls. But it's going to give us more food in the long run. And I think that'll be good. So discontent slightly rose because people are not sure about that. Now we'll know how to how the poor eat in the warehouses. Or in the workhouses. I hate soup. All my life it's been thin gruel and empty promises. That's okay though. Um... They're going to have to learn to live in hard times, for sure. Uh, we need to get some research going here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these engineers. And I'm going to put them in the uh, research hut here. And then we'll add 
I think what I'm going to do right off the bat is we're going to go for the generation range upgrade. Because I ran into a problem there before. Actually, I don't know. Let's we'll take a look at our resources. We've got a little bit of steel, a little bit of coal over here, and there's like a lot of coal here and here. There's steel over here. We might want to just get faster gathering for our first one. Oh wait, no, we have to research this beacon, that's right. Uh, so we need to wait until we have 10 wood and then we can start doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of fast forward here. I'm gonna move on, chaps, there's still plenty of work to do. So people are bringing food in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and research the beacon. And I also need to build a medical post. So we gotta wait until we have 25 wood and I can build this in here. Now, it's kinda, I'm kind of on the fence like where I should put this. I think what I'm gonna do is Ooh, you know what? I should have uh, put these out just like another set of squares. We'll put the medical hut next to the uh, thing here for now. We may end up having to rearrange a little bit. Child injured at work. The child got distracted at work and has been injured. The accident was not serious and happened entirely due to the child's carelessness. Uh, let's scold him for being careless, because uh, people got to learn. Like, you got to pay attention to your work. <laughs> Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure that they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team. We'll send out. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can. Um, we're currently researching the generator, or the uh, beacon, so... I think we're okay there. All right, let's look at some other stuff that we can build here. So resources. We've got this gathering post, which essentially gathers resources from like a bunch of different things all together. Um, so we could build it out here in theory and like gather from all these things uh, and keep our workers warm that way. But I think I'm just going to keep stockpiling for now until we get this stuff cleared up. So our steel wreckage was depleted. We'll bring some workers over here and keep gathering this wood. And then I'm gonna have these other 10 workers. Mm -mm. We're gonna put them over here onto this coal and hopefully we'll be able to grab that and secure it. I'm probably actually gonna have to pull five off like immediately uh, because this medical hut's going up and we're gonna need engineers to work there. All right. 
right, so we got to get some engineers here. And we've got five here. We can go ahead and assign our workers from over there, over here. And the engineers can work in the medical hut. And then <clears throat> these patients that are sick will come in here and get he or like get healed, basically. Okay, so we've researched the beacon. I'm gonna go ahead and assign new research. And then let me just, yeah, let's just take a look real quick. A lot of stuff over here on this side. I think what I'm gonna do is go for the hunter's gear so they're gonna bring back more food uh, every time they go out hunting and that's gonna be like really important because I almost starved to death in the seven days I did not have enough food our people are healed that's good um, we need to build the beacon which I put out here last time. I think that was probably the right call. I can fit one more building in on this side. And I think what I'm going to do is try to fit the beacon in back here. And we're just going to build a little road to connect it. I don't want to block this um for the future so hopefully finish your labors people the work day is up we should see people come over here and start building up that and they've connected it which is perfect so cool <laughs> okay so what we need to do is we have to get some scouts so I need 40 wood and I need five workers Uh, so we're going to have to wait until we have 40 wood before we can send a scout out. A protective mother. A mother has refused to let her daughter go to work. I'm afraid she'll get injured. We could look the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. <clears throat> um... We won't make an exception here. Um, hope's gonna, nothing's gonna happen. But we, we just, we can't set an example like that for everybody, unfortunately. So the beacon's up. We almost have wood here. Uh, I believe the hunters did, in fact, go out. Yeah, they're going to hunt right now. And we can sign a new law. Um, what I want to do is go for the emergency shift. I think it's going to be really important. Another day, another shift. Let's get to work. We can't let up now. And. 5 a.m. So if I start this 24-hour shift now, um, 
we're, we're gonna miss out on a lot of time I think so we're gonna wait until the next day and then I'll do an emergency shift on whatever we need but every time you do that it raises discontent so you gotta be really careful on that I've got 40 wood now I just need workers um, we're gonna take five off of this pile and then we're gonna create a scout now we've got this mission to go for this lost expedition we have to sign this scout to go there and it'll take him 10 hours basically to get there wood crates have been depleted so that's these um, I can take and put the workers that I had on that over here let's see what else we have there's coal over here like I was saying a bunch of coal um, we, we're gonna need the wood in order to uh, keep on building so we're gonna get those guys to come over here and uh, keep on collecting wood for us These wood crates have been depleted as well. I'll put the rest of our workers over on this side to gather that stuff. Hunter's gear has been researched. They're going to bring back more food every time they go out. Since we're almost out of wood, what I need to do is invest in the sawmill, I believe. We're going to go ahead and start that up. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any free time, feel free to stop by the stream. I would love to see you there. Um, you guys are always welcome. Thanks.